Hi guys and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. My name is Crystal. If you guys enjoy these what's for dinner videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. As well as don't forget you can always share this video with your friends and family or on your social media page by clicking the share button. As well as if you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Before we get started with this week's what's for dinner, I am so excited to say that this video is in collaboration with a sweet friend, a YouTube mommy. Her name is Simone and she has three beautiful children. She also has a husband and are married the same amount of years that actually my husband and I are married. This is actually her channel. She has so many great content on there. She shows you haul, she shows you cooking videos, family vlogs. She shares a lot of story times which is one of my favorite. By the way, she also has her master's degree which is pretty cool. Uh, she's just an amazing sweet mommy and friend that I am so glad that I've been able to meet. She also has some cleaning videos, definitely great content so go check out her what's for dinner. Go check out her channel if you guys haven't already. Go show her some love and support. You guys will really like her channel as much as I do. I will leave her Instagram and YouTube channel in the description so go check that out. If you guys are coming from her channel, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and let's get started with this week's what's for dinner. Okay, so we're going to make a salsa. Um, this is, we're going to make it in the blender. So in here, I boiled up, uh, oh, you can't see that. Hold on. Maybe if I just turn. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, in here, I just have three tomatoes because that's all I had in my fridge. So it's time to go and get more tomatoes and onions. I'm out of onions. But when I make salsa, I don't add onions. And then we got chile serranos. I have about six of them. And then three chile de árbol. One is in the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Oh, and I also have some garlic and some salt somewhere. Yeah. have garlic right here. And then as well as... Uh, some salt and I'm gonna make it in the blender right now have a little bit of water already in there then right now all I'm doing is I'm gonna add the chile serranos in the blender blend it up we're gonna be making some chicharrones no what is it chicharro yeah. in salsa uh, so we're gonna start by blending all the chiles first and as is, it already smells super spicy, <laughs> but that's good. And then we're probably going to make some uh, some rice, some Mexican red rice. And then we're going to throw a good amount of garlic in there, you know, to stay away from the vampires. Some salt. And then we're probably going to do quesadillas. We'll see. It's still in the process. This is kind of, I had something else planned, but it's okay. We're working with it. I'm going to add a good amount of Salt. No? Oh, not too much salt. You're right. Yes, because the the pork is really salty. You said right? Okay, not too much. Salt. It's just something that I'm used to saying. A good amount of salt. Okay, we're gonna blend these up, and then <clears throat> oh, we're gonna plug it in. Oh, it is plugged in. Oh, there we go. Okay, blend away. Get a whiff of that. Woo! I smell it. <clears throat> Clearing up sinuses and bad vibes. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Whoa. And then I'm going to add the three tomatoes because that's all I had. If I had more, I probably would do like two more. It's all good. Blend again. Oh, it's, it's spicy. It, it, okay, now I'm going to put it in the jar. 
and if we don't use all of it there'll be some salsa for other foods but I definitely think we're gonna use it all and I purposely added extra water to this because we need it liquidy right babe okay oops making a mess so that is our salsa right there So my husband was the one cooking dinner on this day. He helped me out by making the chicharrones and salsa and pretty much what he does is that he added some of the salsa and then this is chicharron which is pork. It has um, the pork skin on it but it also has meat on it and he cooks it with the salsa to give it flavor and then he layers more sauce or a little bit of extra water as it is. He doesn't add any salt or any um, other seasonings because the pork as is this one was actually a little extra saltier than normal and then the salsa already has a little bit of salt so it's uh, perfectly fine and seasoned and then he's just adding more salsa and then he will just cook this up and this is uh, chicharron with salsa you can make a salsa like a green salsa and it would be chicharron and salsa verde or you can use um, a homemade salsa or you can use a store-bought salsa if you don't like uh, spicy food you could definitely make like a tomato sauce and just add that I'm sure that would be very flavorful as well or definitely just add one chile depending on your heat preference and on the side I pair this I made some Mexican red rice on the side and we ended up having some quesadillas and I'll show you what it looks like plated up but this is very simple and very delicious I need my own shish kebab with the cream. That's a booty! <laughs> That's a booty! Delicious. That's a booty! So this is the plate. It has the Mexican red rice and then the chicharron and salsa. My husband's gonna have it with some flour tortillas or corn tortillas? Yeah, flour flour tortillas um i might have some in a bit with quesadillas i did cut a whole english cucumber to have on the side but my girls ate most of it so we'll see what we do i might pair it with more cucumber we'll see but this is what we're having for today thank you babe for cooking it you're welcome hi guys so for today's dinner we're going to be making some pizza dough i have showed a recipe on how i make this i didn't come up with this recipe this is really big in the ww community i actually filmed a what's for dinner showing you how to make like a step-by-step -step, uh pizza dough i will link it down in the description if you want to check it out but it's super easy all you need is self-rising flour and this is the brand that i use and then uh non-fat I usually use non-fat Greek yogurt, but this is what I have in my fridge right now. This is also zero points on WW. It's non-fat plain yogurt. So this is going to be the first time I try using this and we'll see how it works. And all it is is equal parts of yogurt and uh, self-rising flour. But like I said, I usually use the Greek non-fat yogurt, but I bought this one and I've been using this since it's zero points and it's actually cheaper, but I haven't baked with it. So we'll see how it does. 
And I am doubling the recipe um, <clears throat> because I'm going to be making uh, a couple of things with it. So want to see how it does. So I have one cup of the non-fat plain yogurt. <clears throat> and I used to make this before I was even on WW because I really liked it. It's so easy to make. Um, so I'm doubling it. But if I were to do half a cup and half a cup of yogurt, this specific brand is only five points. So it's a five point dough, which is really awesome. And then depending on your ingredients on whatnot, um, <clears throat> you're going to see what you add. So I'm just going to give this a quick mix and then I'm going to roll it out here. I think I'm going to split it and I'm going to make pizza. I have my uh, homemade marinara sauce. I took it out of the freezer. I'm going to use that. And we'll see if I could split this dough in two or three of them and see how much um, <clears throat> pizza or see what I can do with it. Thinking pizza, thinking for me, maybe a calzone. I don't know, it sounds kind of interesting. So then I'm just going to keep mixing this up right now and we'll see what it looks like. But like I said, it's just equal parts to ingredient pizza dough and it's really, really good. So I have the dough here. I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees and then I'm going to split the dough in half. I'm going to use the big one over there and then I'm going to split this one in half too. I'm thinking we'll see for me making a calzone with this and then this one probably freezing it because you can make so many things with this dough. You can make bagels, you can make biscuits, you can make desserts. So many endless possibilities with this dough. So what I'm thinking of doing is like a chicken pot pie and I usually make it with crescents but this time we'll make like little biscuits and put it on top we'll see how that goes but I'm going to put this to the side <clears throat> and I did have to mix it a little bit more off camera um mine is just really really sticky I know a lot of people have the same thing so um, now that I split it I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more flour and then more flour here and then just gonna have some extra just in case. And then I'm not gonna worry about making this perfect or anything by any means. Um, just gonna try to make it as flat as possible and make it into a pizza and then I don't want it breaking. Gonna add more flour here because it is sticking. <clears throat> and this is not hard at all. Um, it's really easy to make. Um, it is a little messy, but besides that, it doesn't require much. Like I said, it's only a two-ingredient pizza dough. Um, if you don't have a rolling pin, a bottle or something would work just as great, too. This one is my mother-in-law's, and she handed this one down to me uh, to make, like, flour tortillas and stuff like that, which I don't make... <laughs> I was going to when she handed this to me, but then we found that Costco brand um, that tastes pretty good to homemade. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Now I want mine at least to look a little bit round The way we're going, it's not looking too round Maybe I could just, you know It doesn't matter, it's gonna get me in anyways But I saw Alicia's video and her pizza, her dough, everything was so pretty Um, so I'm like, I want my dough pretty I think this is as round as I'm gonna. Let me see if I can. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I have a pizza tray that I already put cooking spray on there. I'm gonna plop it on here. I'm gonna get my sauce and I'm gonna shard my cheese. But before all of that fancy stuff, I gotta wash my hands.
Okay, so I laid out my pizza dough here. Um, now I'm going to add, this is just some crock pot marinara sauce that I make. I will also link that video below if you want to do it. Um, it's definitely cheaper. It's good to always have on hand. I make um, a good amount of it and then I freeze it. But what I also like about it is that it's zero points on WW. But if you don't have this, if you don't want to make this marinara sauce, any sauce of your choice uh, will work to totally fine. If you want to do barbecue or like a ranch pizza, it's all up to you. And then I just have some cheese that I have shredded up. I'm going to keep this one pretty simple. Definitely, if you want to add a pepperoni, you can make this like a Hawaiian pizza and add pineapple and ham. You can make it like a meat lover's one, add sausage. I've done that. Sausage, pepperoni, ham, bacon. I've also made like bacon and jalapeno ones, chicken and jalapeno ones, barbecue ones. And I've also made pizza with like Alfredo sauce. If you guys want to know how to make an Alfredo sauce, very simple. I will also link a video where I show you guys how to make it. You can definitely add all that. It would be really good. And when I do the Alfredo one, I put Alfredo sauce, I put chicken and bacon. And then if you want to add tomatoes, you could do that. So I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes, 14 to 15 minutes. If I think it needs more time, then I will definitely um, let it go longer. But pretty big pizza. Okay, so now I'm going to sprinkle some flour and I think I'm going to make myself a calzone. I've never made a calzone with this dough. I've only used it for pizza. Um, but I've seen so many recipes. So same thing, going to flour. And then here I have um, about a couple of turkey slices, pepperoni turkey slices for one point. I believe you can have up to 14 of this brand for one point, which is crazy amount. I think there are like 10 of them. I don't know. I'll probably put all of them. If I don't, I'll snack on the rest. And then right here, I'm using the Sorrento, Sargento, there we go. Sargento light string cheeses. I'm using two of them for three points. Um, not going to lie to you, I was not a fan of them. I was hoping to really like them, but they have like a rubbery taste. So instead of snacking on them, I'm just going to um, shred them up, I think, and it'll be good for like you know, a quesadilla or a grilled cheese or anything to juice cheese with. The packet doesn't come with too many, um, so I'm sure they'll get used up. But it wasn't a fan for of them. I got them because they're only one point. Um, and other string cheeses that I use are usually uh, two points. But it's fine. At least I tried it and got it out of the way. So I cut my dough in half and then I cut it the half and a fourth. So <clears throat> the other fourth, I'm going to probably save it um, to do something else with it. see how big I can get this because I am going to be splitting it in half. And then I'm going to make just a salad on the side. Simple salad. This dough, I just counted it on my app, um, is three points for the fourth of it. But if I were to use half a cup, it's five points using that specific brand of flour. I know there's different brands, like store brands and stuff like that. And some points vary. This is just what I'm showing. That's the only thing about WW that you have to be careful with. Different brands can alter the points change the points even if it's like the same thing just really depends on the brand okay i think that's good so i think i'm going to get it on the tray first <clears throat> and then i will um start adding so this is the first time i make a calzone so we'll see so here i'm going to be adding the marinara sauce 
I'm searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I don't think I would normally add this much cheese, but since I already have it shredded, might as well use it up. Like a little bit of salt. Okay, you probably could tell I never made a calzone before because I didn't even <clears throat> make space for the closure. Now put a lot of sauce on there. It's okay. We're gonna wing it. Oh, that looks really bad. It's okay. I'm trying. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> that don't look good, but it's fine. I know it's going to be good. Um, I imagine something much more prettier, but that's fine. It's, have you ever had a vision in your head and does not look the way? That's as good as it's going to get. <clears throat> Definitely, I can probably brush like some egg wash on it, but I don't want to waste a whole egg on that. If I would have made two, I would have done that, but this is just going to be for me. Ask my husband if he wanted one. He said no, uh, not a calzone, so he'll probably have some of the pizza with the salad. If not, we do have leftovers of the pork that we made previously, so he'll probably have some of that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this in the oven for about uh, 10 minutes, and then we'll see how it comes out. Okay, this is what the pizza looks like. I left it in for 16 minutes and it got like a nice little gold crust. I'm gonna let this cool down just for a bit and then I'm gonna cut into it when my girls get home. I'm gonna go pick them up right now so it's nice to have dinner ready. Gonna make the salad when I come back and then just serve everybody a plate. The calzone, I have it in the oven. Uh, once that comes out, that's when I'm gonna leave. Um, it should be out in about five minutes. I did put a little bit of cooking spray on top of it to see if it gives it like you know that egg wash effect like a golden color and then I also slit little two little holes in it just so I can have something to to ventilate some air so yeah this is our pizza and I'll show you okay so this is what my plate looks like my kiddos had their pizza so I didn't get a chance to plate it I was able to take this baggie away from them really quick just to show you guys um, the salad topper we've been loving this on our salads and I just added some really easy and some spring mix and then i added my favorite balsamic vinaigrette i'm gonna try the calzone and see what it tastes like but it looks really good so i'm hoping high hopes i have tried this two ingredient dough before so yeah this is what our dinner is going to be for tonight so today we're having a very random dinner um i have a side salad my husband cut up some fries and he did fry those peeled and cut them really simple and then he seasoned it with a little bit of the lori season salt if you guys want to see a video how we peel and cut potatoes, I will put a what's for dinner where I showed you. As well, if you don't want to do them deep fried, you prefer to do them um, baked in the oven. That's also an option too. We haven't had them deep fried in a while, so my husband decided to do it. And then to go along with our french fries, we're going to have some bacon. And this is pretty much a fully loaded french fries that we're having. And then I have some Colby cheddar cheese definitely not the healthiest but it was just a random um dish that one day my husband made and we haven't made it in a while so i decided to have this if you want to melt that cheese go ahead but this you can do so many things with french fries you can make carne salad fries which i've also shown a video how to do that cook up some beef you can do some beef you can throw on some guacamole you can put some sour cream whatever you want you can make it um loaded french fries you can do buffalo chicken and and ranch you can also do just chicken you can do ground beef endless possibilities and then on top of that you can do um any condiment that you want i'm gonna do a little bit of that salsa still that we have um just a little bit on top I, i'm out of tomatoes and i'm out of onions i was thinking of putting some of those that would have been really good but i didn't have none of that and then the side salad and I'm just using this I'm using a little bit of this salad topper that we got at Costco it's really good everybody's been loving adding this to their salad so it's really good 
We've been eating salad last, like pretty much every single day. We have our salads. <laughs> Just a quick, easy side item to go to, and I really like it, and I don't feel as guilty for having fries. Once in a while, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, this is our dinner for today. And this is my husband's plate. He decided to add some avocado on top of it, which was really good. And definitely, like I said, you can add different toppings on top of these loaded fries. Down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground So on this day was my daughter's birthday party. We had some pizza from Costco as well as some beef barbacoa that my mother-in-law made. We were able to vlog and we actually have a family channel called Familia Adventures. I will link it up, up right here in the iCard as well as in the description. I do want to say thank you, thank you so much to all the people who already went over and subscribed to that channel as well as already watched this birthday party. The cool thing about this family vlog channel is that you will get to see more of us if that's something you guys are interested as well as you will get sometimes an update or you will get to see the what's for dinner before the actual what's for dinner comes out because on that video it came out a few days ago and if you watch it you already saw that we had barbacoa and pizza so I think that's pretty cool if that's something you're interested. This is my husband's plate. He's having the beef barbacoa on the side with the Mexican red rice. My mother-in-law made this and it's so amazing. Hopefully I do get to film her. This is my plate. I add a little bit of onion and cilantro as well as some uh, beans that she made. Very delicious. You can have this in tacos or in a bowl. And then this is a, a red salsa that she made that is also so good and so hot and very delicious. We had such a fun time on my daughter's birthday party. It was very simple and a lot of family and it was just really nice getting together. So yeah, this is what we had for her dinner. I also made some broken glass jello, which is just regular jello with a milk jello. And she requested some cupcakes. So, very simple, like I said. And if you guys want to check out that uh, birthday vlog, I will put it down in the description and in the i card. Okay, so we're over at my in-laws again, and we still have a lot of leftover pizza. I did buy like four boxes. Um, we still have some pepperoni, and then um, some cheese one in there. So we're definitely going to take advantage and invite everybody over over here. And we have a lot of pizza, so we'll as well as we're going to have some barbacoa. Uh, this is what we had yesterday. It's just this time I'm having it in a bowl. In my plate, it's very different. I have like a good amount of the the pinto beans, the frijoles in here. And then I put like a little bit of rice, a little bit of the meat. And then I have um, most of the caldo, most of the consomme, most of the broth, the juice of the barbacoa, which is a big barbacoa. Uh, which is my favorite part. It's really really delicious and then we just garnish it with onions and cilantro and then some of that red salsa that my mother-in-law really really good. Uh, my husband is having it the same way but he is having it. Let me show you guys. That is the salsa 
and then he's having it like like mine too but yours has the rice on the side I you can the, definitely do it either or and then he has tortillas and right here's the the cilantro and onion cilantro and onion mm -hmm. and the lemons yeah and the like oh yeah i always give that squeeze of lime and then tortillas you can make tacos you can eat on the side it's very Traditionally, you drink the, the caldo on its own, the broth on its own, and then you eat the meat. But you can do it either or tacos, however you want it. I always do it like this. Yesterday, I had it a little bit different, but this is my favorite way to go. Way to go. I add more beans, a little bit of rice, a little bit of meat, and mainly the broth because that's what it has all the flavor. So I hope you guys enjoy this week. What's for dinner? If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please go check out Simone's channel. She has um, also her What's for Dinner. We collab this week. Definitely go check her out and go show her some love and support. If you guys are coming from her channel, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours